Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna be showing you all about how to use GPT's actions and automations features. We're gonna keep this really basic because a lot of you out there may not be working with the development team and there still is a little bit of development knowledge needed for some of the more advanced action functions when it comes to building your own GPT bot. So again, today we're gonna keep it very basic and I'm gonna show you how you can use some of these actions inside your GPT prompts um, to connect with apps like Zapier and other softwares really quickly. So first of all, I wanna share with you exactly what a GPT action actually is. So essentially what's gonna happen is you're gonna to connect to a third party service, most likely something like Zapier, which is a tool that allows you to automate all of your different tasks with your website and other softwares that you might be using. And essentially when you set up this action with GPT, it'll allow you to run something from a text prompt directly to Zapier from ChatGPT. This allows you to do a lot of really cool things. For example, the one I'm gonna show you in this video today is about how to set up a task to be sent to Asana, which is a very common project management tool from ChatGPT using Zapier. Let's jump into it. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go click up here in the top left corner and you're gonna to wanna to have plugins. Now, you are gonna to wanna to enable plugins, which means that you're gonna to wanna to go into the settings of ChatGPT and select plugins as enabled in order to do this. So I'm gonna select plugins. It's gonna switch between using ChatGPT 4 and ChatGPT 3.5, but when I select plugins, then what I can do is I can access the plugin store. I already have CapCut enabled from a previous video on how to make videos with ChatGPT, but I'm actually gonna to go to the plugin store just like this, and I'm gonna select from all the different plugins Zapier. So I'm gonna search for Zapier in order to do this. So I'm gonna go Zapier, and I'm going to select Zapier. Now when I select this, it's gonna install it into ChatGPT just like that, and it's gonna request access once I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uninstall it just so I can show you what's going to happen here. And then when I uninstall it, I'm gonna install it, and it will ask me to confirm the installation of this. So I'm gonna hit install, and it's gonna actually run this through for me inside the software. So you can see here that it actually asks, OpenAI wants to access to your Zapier account for AI actions. I'm gonna click allow, and it's going to essentially uh, allow me to add different actions. Now, I went ahead and I already added one, and you can see here that it's create task inside this workspace and this project in Asana. So if I click on this, it's gonna show me exactly what I've done. So when you set up an action, you can go in here and you can hit create task. I'm gonna actually clear all of this to show you exactly how to do it step by step and then reconnect everything so you can see how everything works. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to actually search for Asana. So this is essentially reflecting the exact same process that happens inside Zapier. So I'm saying Asana, create task. And then it's gonna ask me to choose an account. I've gone and I've selected Lucas at twiz.io as the Asana account to use. One thing that I find really interesting is it actually says, have AI guess a field for a value for this field. Uh, but I wanna set a specific value for this field, so I'm gonna select that. I went ahead and I've selected twiz.io, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the project here as well. You can also tell it to not include a value for this field, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So now that I've done all this, I'm gonna hit enable action. And there you go, now it's actually connected. Anytime I wanna add a new action, I can just hit this button and it can search from thousands of different actions with Zapier. So now that I've run this, I wanna make sure that Zapier here is actually selected. So I went ahead and clicked Zapier and made sure that it's checked here. So I've already went ahead and prompted it with some questions and got some responses from ChatGPT. So I'm gonna walk you through each one of these. So the first thing I did was I said, have Zapier create a task for me in Asana, because it's already created. So it searched for it, it said, sure, I can help you create a task in Asana using Zapier. Could you please provide me the details of the task you wanna create? So I went ahead and I provided the name of the task, the description of the task, the project in Asana where this task should be added, and any specific due date or assignee if applicable. So I went ahead and did that and gave it exactly what it was looking for. Then what it does is it actually searches the plugins that you have selected and it requests Zapier different information. And then it asks you to review and confirm task creation in Asana. And then after it's been created, then from then on, you can now use this flow inside ChatGPT anytime you want to. So I went ahead and clicked on this link and actually confirmed the task creation. So now when I go to Asana, I can actually click on this task and I can see that it has been created just like this through Zapier and through ChatGPT. So now what I wanna do here is I wanna ask for another task to be created so that way I can use it inside Asana and I can now run it probably more efficiently this time. 
So I've went ahead and I've actually created the task. It seems that there uh, it's being created. So I actually ran into a little bit of a technical bug this time and I found out that it was because of the authentication flow. So I went ahead and reconnected my auth flow with Zapier and was able to run the task right after that. Now do keep in mind that there are additional ways that you can add actions and automations inside ChatGPT, but I'm considering those to be a little bit more advanced because they have to do with setting up your own custom GPT and actually running actions inside there. Again, this is a beginner's guide, so that way you can get right into it. So I wouldn't say that actions inside of a custom GPT are something you should really focus on at this point in time, unless you have some sort of development knowledge or unless now, you know, in 2023, turning into 2024 you want to just ask ChatGPT how to do it you can actually ask them how to do it it just does require some development understanding to understand how all the different calls work and the actions work inside of ChatGPT itself but i'll give you a basic overview here and now so you can kind of see what the concepts are like so this is a little custom gpt that i created not too long ago and if you want to watch that video feel free to watch it on my channel it's just recently been posted about how to create custom gpts i made this sales trainer bot which is pulling from a document which has all my training materials in it and it's answering questions based on this if i wanted to actually go and use this bot and have custom actions running from it i would need to go and set up this here now i do have this template here so you can see what it would look like to set this up with zapier you would have to go and customize it and add in paths components and schemas which again at this point in time i'm not going to go into because these have to do with actually setting up different calls between uh chat and uh your third party service uh, but for now for most people i wouldn't worry about that what i would focus on mostly for automating chat if i were you and i was somebody building with uh, let's say limited development experience is I would focus on the plugins and adding these different plugins like Zapier and then creating these different flows, which you can then run these from. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video and you like seeing how to set up these automations and these flows and these actions inside ChatGPT, feel free to like and share and subscribe this video and this channel. Um, feel free to comment below too if you have any questions so I can answer them and provide some more insight on how to grow and scale your business with ChatGPT and some of these cool AI functions. I'll be creating more videos just like this, so feel free to check out more and stay tuned for more. Hopefully, I'll be putting out a couple a week, maybe even once a day. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and talk to you soon. Thank you.